and what is up everyone welcome back to lego star wars the complete saga it's another episode this one is going to be cool because it's where we're escaping from the base and we get to be han solo which is always a good time <laughs> so yeah um well, let's get right into it uh whenever it's ready just keep going keep going eventually you'll get there escape from echo base there we go escape from echo base so let's see and here imperial forces have mounted a relentless assault on the rebel base on hoth rebel fighters have held out bravely but the enemy is overwhelming in the echo base command center carved deep into the ice of the frozen planet han solo and princess leia monitor the evacuation of rebel personnel but as stormtroopers breach the outer defenses they must quickly find an escape route for themselves Pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, there we go. So we've got this, you know, just continuation of that, that thing. <laughs> okay, I find it funny. They, they were laughing, right? But the, the guy in the middle kind of had a problem. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> pretty funny. Okay, and now we're Han Solo. Do you guys know me? I, I always like being Han Solo, and I always like falling off the edge uh, as Han Solo. It's my favorite pastime, you know? And, uh, okay, here we go. Let's build this thing up. And watch this, watch this magic princess. Oh, never mind. <laughs> hang on, hang on, do we? We drop studs when we die, normally, like, don't, don't. don't? Wait a second. Those are lowly upable, aren't they? Hang on. Yep. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay, because those are like Lego things rather than like non-Lego things. So I'm pretty sure we should be able to blow them up. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Or are they just decorative Lego? Well, I'm pretty sure they're just de decorative. That's a, that's a bit unfortunate. But I actually, I didn't remember them being blowy upable. I didn't even remember those being a thing, but. I don't know. When I saw them, I was like, oh, those should be blowy upable. But I guess they're not. It's fine. We'll survive. And here we go. Open up. Open up in there. Okay, and then this is <laughs> just warming up by the, by the little heater there. <laughs> and okay, we, yeah, we can blow those up. We can't force them, but we can blow them up. And let's see. This, we got a little, uh, little coffee maker or whatever you know I've never been big into coffee but you know we'll go, we'll go ahead and see what it's done right. Right. Come on, there we go yep just as I remembered it doesn't actually do anything it just is aesthetic Here. oh it does do something oh I did not remember that doing a thing that's kind of cool man you learn something new every day perks of playing through on camera while talking about it Yep. Come on. I ain't got all day. Hurry up and thaw this ice. That's more like it. Now, let's see. We're gonna face some, uh, yep. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay. Yeah, look at all these studs. Oh, man. We're gonna be rich. And, uh, we'll go ahead and actually uh, save the building of the turret a bit later. And, um, I'm going to do this a little bit. Double score zone. Although I'm not sure. <laughs> I, see, I wonder, cause with, because, like, we've got the coin magnet, right? I wonder if you have to be physically inside the double score zone for it to be double score, or if it's just like, hey, these studs in this area count for double. I don't know. I kind of hope it's the latter, because if not, we just got all those... Things, all those studs on just a normal x2 multiplier rather than an x2 x2 multiplier an x4 multiplier effective but anyway this is so slow and it's off center what's up with that it's like it's like going on the rail but it's off center but yeah I don't even know we got over here we've got a little uh, c3po action and uh, but we only have three people we should be able to. Uh, I feel like we're supposed to be able to um, push the button. Oh, hang on, wait. Um, 
Are you supposed to get R2? I don't even know. Maybe that's not... I'm pretty... I guess that's probably not supposed to be something you get in the story. But whatever. Oh, gosh. There we go. Okay. Well, let's blow this up. No, no, no. Die. You die now. Ha-ha. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, ooh, we're almost true, did I? Almost there. These character studs are being amazing. Okay, 3PO. Nope, nope. 3PO, I'm ready to work your magic. There we go. A little 3PO action. And... That was easy. See, see, Princess Leia, like, when any character, when you're not playing them, they're all of a sudden horrible marksmen. They're just, They're basically stormtroopers when you're not playing them. And then like Han Solo when you are playing them because like you basically have aimbot because it's, it's not like a precise first person shooter or anything. It's just, you know, a little, little side scrolly adventure thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of funny, but it makes sense because like they don't want to be doing, they don't want the AI doing the work for you because that'd be kind of lame, but alas. Actually, no, I think I might actually want to do something. Because, okay, check it out, check it out. If we go into extras, and we turn on exploding blaster bolts, we should be able to... Yeah, cause, so we can blow them up like that. Oh, and also what we can do... Hang on. I gotta head back now. <laughs> now that I've remembered this. So, the exploding blaster bolts count as the same kind of explosion as a bounty hunter um, thermal detonator. And of course, the uh, exploding blaster bolts also deal damage to the characters nearby. But what, basically what you can do is if you can get... See, those things will reflect the bl blasts off of them, because they're blaster blasts. Blaster blasts. That's a bit redundant. But what you can, if you can get the blast close enough, you see, it counts and it blows the thing up. Oh, and it also sometimes blows you up. Hang on a second. Okay, we're gonna do some more science because we're we're fine on studs. Okay, forty-five thousand. See what what's up with that? Oh, maybe it's like a when you have a score multiplier, it doesn't drop studs or something. Or when you have certain extras on, it's weird. No, target that. Oh wow, one shot. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, right, and we have to build this. So the cool thing about this is that you then get some uh, non-playable. Well, you can build these non-playable uh, skeleton characters, but what they are, or what they will do, is they, they'll do that, <laughs> but they'll also, if you are standing on some buttons, they will join you and step on the buttons that you need them to step on. So there we go. And then we got a mini kit. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Scully Bob. I won't kill you because I'm fine on studs. <laughs> Normally I would, but <laughs> I'm feeling generous today. Let's see, what else can we do? We, yeah, so the so the blaster bolts will push your your these sorts of things a bit, not very fast, but they will push them a bit. And yeah, oh, lame. And, okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, because uh, the power-up grants you complete invincibility. So you can just, you know, go ham on your exploding blaster bolts and not worry about it. Yeah. But of course, that's only for the duration of the power-up. And uh, I might find myself, especially if we go into close combat situations, I fully expect to find myself uh, wanting to disable exploding blaster bolts. But for now... We'll leave it on, just for kicks. And we'll push this, push this. The precise art here. Although, actually, we don't really... Well, no, we do, because we need 3PO up there. And, um... Oh, oh boy. Uh, uh, come on, go this way. Now, this way. And uh, then a little bit of uh, this way. There we go. Go and that should yep that'll turn on this little this little fan. Then, ooh, we got a little mini kit, but I don't think we can get it due to some things. And then uh, that last little thing is just for the, the part past there. Let's see over there yonder, that force part that we can't do because we don't have the force. 
And then, okay, this is always fun. Okay, so we gotta, so three PO's all, you know, up there. Then, nope, three PO, land on the thing. No, why are you, why are you not doing the thing? Land on the thing, like he was landing on it, but he was just glitching through, what's up with that? No, lame. <laughs> what? What the? What? I don't even know. 3PO is defying the laws of physics. Like, he's landing on it, right? He landed on it. He landed right on the label thing that was like, hey, 3PO, you should land here. But he just glitched through it. What the heck? What the heck, man? And, uh, okay, now he's just hanging up, hanging out up there. Okay, hang on. Let's try to come in as 3PO. Oh, okay, uh. Okay, there's our button. There's a button. Uh, come on, come here, 3PO. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Professional 3PO player here. No, oh, what? Okay, I'm pretty sure the game's just broken. Um. So, okay, let's head over here and uh, come back through. And, uh, hang on, let's just make sure. Yeah, this has a hitbox, definitely. We should have checked that before, huh? Hey, 3 po uh, let's use this one, maybe? This one? Okay, okay no. Don't want to? Oh, there we go, there we go. Weird hitbox glitch, I guess. That's fine. No, wrong, wrong button. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. I was supposed to hit the uh, use button, and I hit the get out button. That was my bad. My bad. Come on. Three PO. Don't jump if I'm not here. There. That's better. Let's head over here, and then we'll just go ahead and uh, wow. Okay. Now. Oh right. <laughs> Forgot we have to build it. There you go. Beep, beep, beep. That's perfect. Yes, we do still have exploding blaster bolts. It's exciting. Go ahead and board this, and then uh, uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and now we got this. So uh, uh, is it fun? So what we got to do, right? We're gonna head up here, and then we got all the buttons uh, along there, and we've got to hit all of them. Not at the same time, nor in the same run, because once we once we hit one, it'll stay on. But we have to hit all of them. And you'll notice there are green ones, or the ones that we've lit up. And once all of them have been hit once, then uh, the door will open. And that'll be perfect. And hopefully we'll be able to also get this blue stud. Yes! And, yeah! Two drops. That's pretty good, I think. Let's head over here and... Uh, Okay, that is a, that does have a hitbox. I kind of expected it to be uh, not hittable, but you know, we'll just kill three PO. That's fine. Okay, and kill ourselves. That's fine. It's amazing. And you you can hear uh, what was it, Chewy? Oh dang it! You can hear Chewy just you know getting attacked, it's crazy out there, and me dying. Seriously, why are we not dropping studs like? That's supposed to be how it goes, right? Okay, now let's go over here. Yep, that's right, Leia. Go over there. Yes, good. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Which way is it to the... Actually, onward. I think I feel like this is onward. Yes, that's onward. So we want to take a quick detour. Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's Chewbacca. Oh, and I've got the, uh, the cosmetic extra... Oh, look at that button glitch out. Uh, but I've got the extra so that Chewbacca looks like he's carrying 3PO on his back. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Kind of like the disguise power up. If you remember that, that was a pretty fun time. <laughs> Go ahead and blow up that. Ooh, and we might actually be able to get access to this cool bit here. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> Wall hacks. That's not what it is, but yeah. I'll call it that because it's. Hacks relating to uh, semi restricted guys. There, okay. That's it. Ah, this is perfect. Okay, what, what, what can we blow up here? 
decent amount. Okay, not that much stuff, actually. Just that one thing that I didn't see. Uh, but then if we build this... I'm not sure if it requires the force or anything crazy. No, I think it just requires being built. Sweet! <laughs> yeah, so this is definitely a part that was not intended to be um, accessible in story mode. But, hey, we've got some extras, so it is. <laughs> um... Okay, and then, oh, right, okay. So that red brick is going to be accessible off of the side here, and we just died again. I'm really good at that. That's why I don't play with the exploding blast bolts very much. But what is awesome is it makes it an AoE attack that does more damage, so it makes it, ex it extra easy to take out these uh, uh, little uh, storm tr stormtroopers, uh, snow troopers especially if they're grouped up, and it also makes it so that we don't have to build up those silly little uh, turrets, and uh, we can just blow them up. Okay, so that's, that's where the red brick is, but I'm pretty sure we have to be up in the control room in order to get access to these rooms, and in order to access the control room, which is right up there in the corner, kind of the top corner of the area of the screen, in order to get access to that, we have to have the Dark Force. We have to have a Sith on our team. We have to be a Sith and use the Dark Side of the Force. But, ooh, yes! This is amazing. This is amazing. Take, take that. Take that and that and that. And we're going to need to get the Tauntauns. Because we need their high jumpiness to get on top of the Millennium Falcon to fix it up. Because the... I guess the Empire has made a few, you know, made it damaged a bit. But they, interesting, haven't completely incapacitated it. You would think that they would just, like, blow it up. Because clearly, in the LEGO Star Wars continuity, <laughs> they're here before the, the heroes get here. Like in the, the actual movie, I'm pretty sure that, like, the, they didn't show up until uh, they were about to leave. And then they're like, oh, I'm trying to stop you, but no, they failed failed to stop us, so. But here, you, know, you saw that they already had their little turrets set up. They already had several uh, personnel in there. They even had people hookshotting in there, but I guess I guess the, st uh, the snow troopers don't know much about the mechanics of the Millennium Falcon, so they just can't completely incapacitate it. Oh yeah, and there's, there's Chewbacca's 3PO backpack. <laughs> and then if we just waltz over here, be able to, yeah, that's a huge jump. Wow. Didn't remember it being that high. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just go. There we go. And build this up. Ugh. And then that'll do that. And then it'll open up. And then we'll take out these guys because we can. And uh, whoosh, oh, and take ourselves out. That'll be fun. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Is is it weird that it's kind of fun that I'm like killing myself when I'm killing the other people? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of crazy. Anyway. Yeah, here's our little cutscene, and even with the repairs, like, Millennium Falcon's still a bit, bit, uh, glitchy. And then, of course, you know, when the lights are out. <laughs> Freaking on <Han> Solo. <laughs> what a nerf herder. And then, yep, okay. Ooh! Yeah, okay, 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 so the next, next episode is gonna either be Dagobah, or I think it's going to be the Millennium Falcon's flight thing, and then Dagobah. Possibly in the reverse order. But I think it's going to be the Falcon first. But we will see in, very, in a very short amount of time. For me. Okay, true Jedi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stud total. Look at all those studs. Man, we're making bank. That's what a score multiplier will do to you, you know? Make lots of money using this one odd trick. Click the link in the description to learn more. Uh, there, there, are, there will be some links down in the description, but nothing to like making money because I just told you what it is, so you shouldn't need to click on any links. But anyway, that's uh, right. Got to cut here because you know just one, just one chapter an episode, guys. So yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below if you have something to say. Definitely share it with your peeps if you think they'd enjoy it, and subscribe if you are new around here. Catch you next time, guys.